Now, because my memory is absolutely atrocious, I had to be reminded by a viewer that I hadn't picked the winner for the cook set giveaway yet. So I'm gonna do that now. Best of luck. Okay, here we go. We're picking the winner using the TubeBuddy app. Very simple thing to use. It just picks one at random from all the comments. Pick a winner. Oh, only for UK, damn. Nice set of cookware. It's obviously not in the UK and this was only open to people in the UK, unfortunately. Pick another winner. <laughs> the four king divers, uh, divers, <laughs> the four king divvies, the four king diggers. Uh, I got some, I shared on Twitter. I checked that out when he put it on. Very good. Uh, all the best from Craig. Well, all the best to you, Craig. Shame we weren't meeting up for a dig. I could have just dropped it off for you. But if you send me your address, I shall post that out to you straight away. Awesome. Best of luck to everybody in the next one. Look out for the next giveaway. Hello, welcome back. This is just a quick update to let you know what's going on with the videos that I've got planned for the upcoming weeks. I do have one, two or three metal detecting videos that I shot on holiday, which are still in a state of semi-editing. So one of those is with the Garrett ATX, another one's with the Vibrotector 730. And I'm also going to do a comparison of the finds between the two because I spent an equal time hunting with them. So that should make for very interesting viewing. I've also recently bought a couple of different um, Hubo fishing kits off the internet, which I'll be trying out in different scenarios and giving you my views on that. There's filtration related videos coming. I've still got at least one or two filters to make, which I'm sure you'll love. And as we've had some rain, I'm really hoping that there's got a lot of fungus gonna start growing in the local woodland so I can get back out with Colin. So far, that hasn't happened, even though the ground is sodden. It's the time of year, but there's just nothing about. So I can't wait for that. Now the thing that's holding me back from making videos is the amount of work that I'm getting done around the place. I'm not directly involved in it, but I am overseeing it. And that's tying up a lot of time, and it's also tying up a lot of money as well. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> There's a big pallet of filter media that I still haven't unpacked yet. I've had that on the drive for about two or three days. <laughs> and ultimately, this is where the filter media is going to go. This is the shed that I've been talking about in a few of my videos. Well, shed cum log cabin. It's pretty big. Floor space is approximately 50 square meters. And I'll take you inside and let you have a look. Now it's pretty dark in here because we've got no electric in yet, but the electric will be coming in up here, down the wall, and then we'll be drilling through all of these supports, and putting um, cabling in and sockets and all sorts of things, lighting in up here. And if you're wondering what that blue is up there, we've actually put a cover on the roof. It's like a breathable membrane before the felt shingles go on. And for those of you who think we're not civilized up north, even got water and a drain so it's going to have a toilet god you thought we just did it in the woods added to that the toilet has even got a window talking of windows we've got some really big windows where the work zone is going to be I've already bought office furniture which hasn't come yet but it's going in along here and along here so I can have myself and possibly one or two other people working as the business evolves. I'm going to have patio doors on here. And this whole shed is going to be insulated and lined out. Which is going to take forever. Now this hedge at the far end of my garden, we've taken that down. So you can just imagine sitting here. Look at that. That's going to be your view. That's not a bad view. Unfortunately, these things here are shipping containers. <laughs> uh, but they'll be going, hopefully, fairly soon. Because this site just in front of me here, where that big industrial building was, is going to be developed. Now, if you're wondering why the shed's a funny light green colour, every part of it is pressure treated. So basically, it's going to last forever. Now, I'm not sure I've shown you the drive. But we got this done at the beginning of the year. 
In fact, we've got all this work done at the beginning of the year, all of the, the building work, and it's taken a long time, cost a canny bit of money, but it's going to be well worth it. And these stones here are for something called gabions, which are mesh baskets, which are going to be used to retain this part of the garden. I've had a digger in here, tearing the place up. You put a trench in, you put some mesh baskets in, we're going to fill them with stone, and then once we're filled in behind them, I'm going to put soil across the top and I'm going to put heather turf on here. I'm hoping to see one of the landowners who I know ask if I can get out on the moor and take some carpet up of heather, basically just in strips, so I can just put strips of heather along here. And we're going to plant trees along the back of here, little ornamental ones. Um, and it should be a really nice environment in here for amphibians and also slow worms as well. Now, when I mentioned that land behind me um, being developed, it was going to be two bungalows, but I think now it's actually going to be sold off to another developer. You'll not get more than two houses on there, and it'll be quite nice to have neighbours. They might have kids of a similar age to my children, so it could work out pretty well. Never really had neighbours before, so it'll be a new experience. But what's holding that up is, unfortunately, there was a very tragic accident a few months ago. The fellow that owned the site and was overseeing the deconstruction of the industrial building got killed by a fallen girder, and it was it couldn't have been a bigger girder. It was one of the main spine girders from the building, came down, hit him, felled him, killed him, stone dead. Um, that wasn't a that wasn't a pretty sight and it wasn't a good day. So unfortunately that's on hold. But as that develops, I'll let you see how it's coming along. I'm sure they're gonna build cracking houses there. If you can hear that banging, beyond this site was a field. And that's actually going to be made into a, a holiday site. There's some absolutely beautiful log cabins going up over there. So when they get the first one finished, I'll bring the camera down and I'll let you take a look around inside it because they're going to be absolutely fantastic. So if you want to spend your holidays next door to me, you know where to come. Now these trees that run up the side of the drive are actually going to be taken out and they're going to be put in on this side of the Gabian baskets. We're going to dot them in along here. They look pretty nice. And then all of this is going to be graded out and seeded. So it should be all a nice lawn. And talking of a nice lawn, that looks pretty strange. Loads of lines, squiggly shapes there. Almost as if somebody had applied some bodily waste product to it. But I wouldn't know anything about that. Now this is an area that I'd normally be too ashamed to let anybody look at. This is where I work from. And it's an absolute mess in here. It's really tragic. <laughs> This is the nerve centre of my operation. <laughs> you can see why I need more space. It's just atrocious. And there's actually a sauna in this corner here, which I don't use. It's just full of stock in there. So when we get that big cabin built, all of this stuff is coming out. It's going into the new building. And then we're going to restore this into some sort of usable cabin. That's a greater spotted woodpecker. We've got loads of those around our place. Well, there you go. Hopefully you can see why YouTube, for me anyway, has to take a back seat sometimes. I always have my priorities fixed. So the very first priority in my life would always be family, then business, then hobbies. Now, because of the first two being so important, I don't often get much time for my hobbies now. But when I do, I shall film them and I shall upload them. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Now here's an update on the update. The Gabian wall is now finished. And that looks pretty awesome. We've got Colin and Andy to thank for that. I didn't have any part of that. Apart from complaining to them when they started to belly out. <laughs> but they got the hang of them towards the end. And that looks absolutely spot on. Stone ended up costing me much more than I thought, but uh, that's going to do a cracking job. 
We're going to fill all this back in with soil, grade it all out and have all of that as grass. It's going to look really nice. And down here, I'm hoping to put some raised beds in and grow vegetables. And I did see that we were improving the view. Unfortunately, about a week after I filmed that last bit, we still haven't got that tree out of the way. You notice there's some wires here and all the weight and the trees leaning towards the wires. So I'm going to have to get a proper tree surgeon in there. I don't want to drop the tree through the wires, which is what will happen if I try and drop it. The left hand side of that tree is gone. And all the branches up here have gone as well, which has really opened up this view. This is the view my son gets from his bedroom. And it's pretty much what we see out of the conservatory as well. We're going to get the roof redone with felt shingles. So even this little shed will look good. We used to have a big oak tree here, which was absolutely knackered and going way up here. I chopped that down, fell through the fence that was along here. I bust the decking, so I ripped it all out. I used up some leftover sleepers and we're gonna fill all of that in and have that as lawn. And now this is the view from our conservatory. It's a hell of a lot better. Look at that. Awesome. And that looks a lot better as well. We used to have the scabby fence along there. It just looked totally tragic. Now you're gonna have that filled in with grass. So it's all gonna be green going out to the field. It's gonna give a real impression of space. And look how pruning those trees has really opened that view up. In the morning we get the sunrise, it's absolutely awesome.